Hey guys, welcome to Song of Cockroach. Uh, today we're going to be playing a Hot Deal Challenge. Uh, I figured with the new DLC coming soon, probably a good time to get started with some of these uh, challenge maps. Hot Deal is the only one I've actually completed. I think the ticks just mean I've attempted them. But Hot Deal is the only one I've completed. So let's get started. I know some people have said that they were able to do it with no losses until the final uh, battle. When I completed it, I did manage to to do that sort of challenge. Lose no, no troops at all until the final battle. But it took a lot of reloading and all that kind of stuff, so... Uh, we'll see how this goes. The point of this video is to try and be kind of like a walkthrough, I suppose. But it's not a walkthrough to try and get through everything with no losses. Although we will, I will try and do that. But I can't really guarantee it because there's quite a bit of RNG involved. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is combine our stacks. We'll hit the archway portal, we'll take a dagger, and then we'll come up towards here. Uh, there probably will be quite a bit of loading and reloading because of RNG, but as, as long as I get a reasonably decent win, I won't worry too much about uh, losing troops, I suppose, but early on we definitely want to try and uh, get flawless victories because obviously we have limited uh, troops and there's no town so uh, our troops and our our artifacts will be whatever we can find on the map so that's why this is a challenge map but uh yeah so that's the plan moving forward so there might be quite a few reloads if things don't go particularly well but we'll see how this goes but yeah, the most important thing for the first fight is to combine the two stacks of muskets. So let's get into the brigand fight. Ah, uh, yep. We do want to stay on the high ground if we can. And the first thing to take out is the, the um, brigands. Hopefully, the footmen don't kill off our units. Okay, so there we go. Nice. And then they won't be able to reach us, and we can pick them off, which is perfect. And that's the first fight done flawlessly. And we get some nice gear to help us out. So we'll be heading to this wolf fight next. To go to the next turn, we'll save it here. And in this fight, we just want to start all the way up here. Now we'll just wait for the wolf to charge towards us. We don't want to attack first because they're not in deadly range. So we'll fall back and the wolf should chase us. There we go. Now we can use protection just to be on the safe side, but we shouldn't need it. And it's done. We, ooh, what do we want? I think we want command, because we're going to need the extra slot soon. Let's hit the signpost for a bit of XP. Uh, this is an interesting choice. I'm not sure what to take. I've toyed with taking the Gamson and also the 800 gold a few times. Uh, I think I'll take the Archer's Gamson. The four defense could be really handy. So let's do that. 800 gold is nice to have, but probably not necessary oh, in the grand scheme of things. So I'll take the archer's helmet. So now we're basically fully kitted out for now. And we've got some decent bonuses. Uh, let's save it here. We definitely don't want to take this fight. This is futile. It's 
pretty sure it's impossible to win at this point in time. We need some more troops before we can uh, take these guys out. So let's head up and take this fight here. It's fine to start like this. Okay, so they're going to just charge forward. We'll shoot these guys. Hopefully we can take them out. Yep, okay, we got lucky with the damage and we took them out in one shot, which is perfect. Now we just want to fall back. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Could we squick it, maybe? No, apparently not. So I think Quicken would give us initiative, and it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, the footman did get enough damage to kill one of our muskets, so that's fine. And we'll just finish the fight here. Perfect. Alright, take the cash here. Uh, I, When I was doing my test run, I did go through here, but because I had the goal of trying to uh, not lose any troops, I found I couldn't really do that down here, so I I just always go up uh, the north portal. Because once you go through this portal, uh, this section ends up being uh, cut off. Because the portal takes you up to here. And that's the path that I'm familiar with, so we'll go with that. And into here we get the pipes which we want. Let's split our musketeers because I think we need to split them uh, for the next fight. Let's go to here. Uh, the question here is do we want the gold or the, or the handgun prototype? The gold I think is decent but I think I'll go with the handgun prototype because there is a market later on and we could sell it for a bit of cash and we need well, 10 ranged offense will give us like 10% more damage which could be quite nice so let's take that save it here let's take this fight I usually set up like this and there's a lot of RNG in this fight so we might end up losing one troop it is possible to do it with no losses, but yeah, it's a bit it's a bit dependent on how the AI reacts and everything, so it might be a little difficult. But uh yeah, let's get yeah, we have to set up like this, I think. I think this setup forces them to split their split the, their movements a bit which is what results in uh, a little bit of deviation. As you can see here, the wolves can actually attack if we go anywhere near uh, in here, so we can't have all three uh, tucked away in the corner. So we have to move out of the charge range of the wolves. Now the archers will move forward and attack one of our stacks, so the muskets that get attacked I put all the way in there move all the way back there now the question is well none of them can really reach us on the next turn so that's fine so we can end the turn here and then save our essence for the next round of combat okay that's probably the best uh, situation if the wolves come up here then that's, that's uh, actually perfect for us so let's dart forward with our pipes and attack the wolves. They can't reach us. They attack. Ooh, we just survived there, so that was that was handy. Let's take out the wolves. Ah, uh, now let's take out. Yeah, let's take out the cutthroats. They do too much damage. Now we want to quicken the pipes. And then we'll also use protection because we're going to get them into melee range of the archers. 
can actually do protection again, so let's do that. Oh, we still lost a pie. Dang it. They got lucky with the damage. That's fine, though. We won't get the no troops lost thing, but that's only a personal sort of goal. In the long run, it shouldn't hurt us too much, hopefully. Okay. Now we get another weapon on the next turn. So let's take this weapon. Go over here. And now... This is why I wanted the command. It's generally a good idea to split the muskets into two stacks after the first two fights. And the extra command lets us get cutthroats, and cutthroats are quite strong. Uh, let's save it here. Let's take out the silver mains and outlaws. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, we can do it like this, I think. This fight can be a little tricky too, but we should do enough damage with these guys to be able to um, not have not take any losses in this fight. Alright, let's see what they do. They charge forward here, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's hit these guys here like this. Oh, this is a tough one. I guess we have to step forward. Can we hit this guy? We can if we move forward. Oh, one. Alright, that's fine. We didn't lose anyone. Which is perfect. And now we get a better weapon. Also get some gold. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go here. We we definitely want, I, th well, I think we definitely want to take the muskets for now. So let's do that. Okay, we're skipping this fight. Uh, we're not going to do this fight at the bottom either yet. Let's get the crumbling monument. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know if we need to take... We should take learning or not. I guess getting learning early would mean more XP. Which could lead to a couple more levels in the long run. That's a tough choice, actually. We're only level 3. So maybe it will be worth getting learning. Oh, let's try that. Get a bit more experience out of this. Okay. Uh, what artifacts are we rocking at the moment? Handgun, prototype, defense, falchion. Okay, yeah, I guess we should roll with this. This is pretty decent. Alright, let's keep going. Save it here. Okay, so let's do something like this. Got a bigger stack at the back. We don't want the musketeers or the big stack to move. We will move back with the smaller stack of musketeers. And yeah, we'll move back with the pikes as well. We'll chill out here with our cutthroats. That's not ideal, but with the way they uh, the way they did the the songs, hopefully we do enough damage. Not quite. That's fine. Let's move back. It is in range. Okay. I don't know if I should use uh, my, my essence or not. I don't want to waste my shot on that little hit point, so I'll save it for now. Okay, that's fine. They're going to move all the way up. That's okay. Uh, I think... 
think we're just going to sit tight here. O one. We will get. Well, we'll definitely kill that one off. So let's do that. Okay. Now, I guess we can pacify them because they're going to retaliate. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take them out. Let's hope the shamans can't reach. Okay, that should be alright, I think. Uh, alright, we will chill out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Alright, no losses once again, which is nice. And we get destruction magic, that's perfect. We definitely need destruction magic uh, early on. Okay, let's get the reflecting tools. Alright, let's take the cutthroats again. Okay. So here... This one, I'm not sure what I... or how I want to tackle this. I think for now, yeah, I think for now we'll just stack the, the musketeers like that. Take two musketeers, we'll upgrade one to veteran so that we have a stack of three. Three to five damage, five to eight, so yeah, it's quite a big upgrade. That's fine. I think this is good enough for now until we get more cash. And once we get more cash, uh, we'll try to upgrade to a full stack of veteran musketeers and then the rest we'll, we'll use to upgrade the pioneers. We don't want to do this fight just yet. For now, I think what we need to do is come back down this way. Yeah, so we come back down this way and take this fight down here. Okay, save it, and yeah, we want to take this fight now. Okay. Alright, so, we can bunch everything together like this. We should be able to get initiative advantage. So, this should be a fine enough setup. And they're all bunched together, which is fine by me. Uh, they can reach us, so we have to step up here. We will... hang on. Uh, yeah, none of them can reach us, so we'll tuck ourselves in there. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. Ah... Uh, I was hoping to get on high ground, but I made a mistake. I should have put them on the high ground, higher ground, and then the muskets down here. Then we would have been able to tuck ourselves in there. Okay, that's fine though. They can't reach us, so I guess we'll just have to do that. How much damage do they do? Four to seven. That should be okay. Let's move in there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they're, they're in a weird formation there. They can reach us now. Okay. Uh, how do we want to do this? This is 30. This is 65. We could do justice on one of them. Let's do that. That gets rid of one of them. have to chill out. I think we can afford to keep take more hits from from the necromancers or scholars, so that should be fine. We'll keep the cutthroats in reserve. Uh, 
these guys have to go. These guys can reach, so they have to go. That's fine. Let's chill there. Uh, we can afford to keep taking the hits from the scholars. That's okay. The risen. They're not going to be doing too much. All right. Let's end the turn. Eat another shot. That's fine. Let's use justice to get rid of the scholar. Okay. Let's. Yeah. We can step forward with Cutthroat's the next turn to do some damage. And we don't need it. Alright, perfect. And another old camp. Yep. Firing glasses, old camp. We can take more Cutthroat's. Gauntlets. Let's move up here. Take the cash. Not enough movement, okay, that's fine. Next turn. Okay, so now we have to deal with these ravages. Ravages and crawlers, okay. Uh, okay, so in this particular fight, I think we need to go back and replenish a bit more. So let's do that. Or get more veteran musketeers, that is. Yeah. Yeah, let's get more veteran musketeers. And we'll upgrade these. That should be fine. And let's come back down with this fight. Okay. Looking at this fight, and I'm not sure if I can actually complete it without losing anyone. So I'm, what I'm going to do is go through the portal and see if I can take this fight down here with cut, with the Cutthroats and Sassanids. So let's do that. I will set up like this. And see if we can uh, do this without losing any troops. Okay, because I think I need a bit more oomph in my army before I can take on that uh, Ravager Crawler fight. Okay, let's move here. Oh, we have to move back there, that's fine. Now we're out of reach of all of them, that's fine. Okay back, pull back, and we'll save our essence for the next round. Alright, that's perfect. Let's just hit these guys. We can take out the Sassanids, which is perfect. Okay, they charge forward, that's fine. We definitely need to... Yeah, we definitely need to take out the Sassanids, so let's do that. Let's take out the stack of five per way. Step forward here. And yeah, this will end it perfect, okay. Alright, let's see what uh, level ups we get. Destruction magic or command. Ooh, okay. That is a tough one. Let's take a couple of Get an extra uh, extra troop slot. Let's see what we get from the crumbling tower. Crafty spiders or command. Okay, we're taking destruction magic. And We've claimed everything over here. Let's go back in there. Okay, now... 
Right, well, let's split this or end the turn. Now let's go through the portal. Okay, I think I actually want... No, not like that. I, th I actually want a stack of nine and a stack of six. Hopefully that's okay. And then we'll head into this fight. All right, so we'll set up first like this. And then we will separate like that. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can get through this battle without any casualties. Okay, fall back a little bit, maybe. These guys will go first. I guess we have to fall back a bit. I should be okay with these guys here. Ooh, yeah, these, yeah, this should, we have to stay here. Two out of three. Okay. Let's do this. It's only one. I don't think they can hit us, so I'm fine stepping back a bit. Okay, yep. Come in there, that's fine. Alright. You know what? Let's attack these guys. Three to four, two to three. need protection these guys. So we need three three times thirty-five is hundred and five. So we should be able to kill that off. Four no, it's only there's four of them, but one is half HP, so it's three times thirty-five. Hundred and five. Hundred and twenty-one. We would have to we have to max our hit on there. So what we might do is let's go here. Oh, we need to take might need to take let's take this guy out. Three to four. Okay. Do I have enough? Could do this. Hundred three to four. I think this should do it. Let's see. Not quite. Okay. That's fine. I think. Let's do protection here. Okay. We need more protection here. It's just two. Okay. Can we do enough? Maybe? Not quite. Okay. Ah, oh, ITO. So. This will take up the crawler. Gives us initiative on the next turn. Do protection. One. Perfect. Okay, no troops lost. That one was quite lucky. Got decent dice rolls that time for our damage. What do we get now? Archery or command? Let's take archery. I don't think we're going to afford the sunken statue just yet. No. Okay. So we're going to have to combine here. So let's get our... Yep. Let's get our Hell Breaths. Take the Celestial Ore. And we'll come back up this way. We've got a little bit of cash now. 
Uh, okay. Can we take this fight? I'm not sure if we can take this fight without any casualties, so let's come up this way. Let's upgrade troops. Uh, hang on, let's check the difference between the pioneers and the veteran pioneers. Three to five, ten health. Five to seven, eighteen health, and quite a lot more offense and defense. Okay, so it's probably worth upgrading these guys. Must order times two, order times two. Okay, that's fine. How about? Oh, we just can't get the full. The full. Uh, a full stack there. So that gives us. How about we upgrade five of them? So that'll give us 11, six more to upgrade, and then we'll take some pioneers or veteran pikes. And we'll try that. Okay, let's go back down to do this fight. Let's see if we can do this fight now, hopefully with no losses. And we'll just set up like this. No, we don't want that guy up there, definitely not. Okay, so they move forward. That's fine. We'll just spear wall down here. Let's move back one out of range, yep. Yeah. Let's move back over here. Use aim. Chill out. Okay, they still attack our spears. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's do that. these guys. We definitely need to do that. Uh, okay. We need to drop back down here now. Yeah. So let's do that. Snipe these sages over here. We will also pacify the sages over there. Shoot one closest to us. That's fine. Okay, this I think should be good. Let's get them there. Okay, so now step forward here that takes those guys out we're reloading here okay we can't quite get in range of both of them but with the quicker we can yep so let's go over here five to six six times 35 would be 180, 210. Ooh, that might actually work. Let's do it. Perfect. Okay, that worked out really nicely. Let's get that. Let's get this. We picked up everything we wanted from here. Let's go back up this way. Now we've got to take on these Ethbra protectors and crawlers. But not before we... Ah, we can't, still can't quite get enough cash to upgrade them. A thousand and twelve? Twenty, twenty-five, okay. 
interesting. Will we be able to do this fight without fully upgrading here? Okay, let's see if we can get this done with no casualties. Uh, we definitely want to start something like this, I guess. Musketeers only have 11 health. Vet Musketeers have 18. Vet Pikes also have 18. Okay, so they have 40 defense. 34 defense on the Vet Musketeers. 20 health, 39 defense. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's let's see how this goes. Uh, fall back a bit, I guess. Okay. What about if we step forward with our hell breaths? Will that tempt them to uh, uh, to attack our hell breaths? instead of our other units. Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay. That's good. Uh, okay, in that case, let's sit tight and aim. Uh, okay, question is, will the Ethdra keep attacking the Hellbreaths or not? That's the real question. They'll do more damage now because they won't need to move. So we lost 22 damage last round, which means we'll take about 44 damage this round, I guess. So maybe they'll survive. Uh, let's step forward a little bit. Okay. Who do we hit? Definitely hit these guys. That'll do a bit of damage to them. We can use justice on the Estra up there. That'll reduce how much damage we take from their range attacks. Let's step forward one second. Okay, that's fine. Nice, we can take them out. Uh, who can we hit? We can't really hit anyone with these guys. Uh, the crawlers should get in range, so there's that. Let's come down here and spear warp. Okay. Protectors still won't be in range. That's fine. Let's take out one more step of the Eth Draw. We'll... Yeah, we'll hang tight with our help breaths. Through 9 to 14. Okay, I think we can survive that attack, so let's go like this. Nope, they're still attacking our hell breaths. That's fine with me. Uh, they're not in range, so that's fine. Movement of 2, so they can't get to us. That's perfectly fine then. Let's go up here then. We might be able to get in a sneak attack. Yep. Let's attack them. Let's take out the S draw. That's perfect. And we should be able to yeah, we can snipe them down. Alright. Nice. Okay, that worked out. Oh. 
not great options at all, but I guess we're going far side. Just hoping for a better choice of there. Now we have a full stack of cutthroats. Let's go in here. We've collected everything. Let's hit the rider statue. Okay. Alright. Let's see now. Can we upgrade them all? Yes, we can. We can now. Let's do that. We can't buy anything else though. That should be fine. Okay. Ah, uh, we won't get any more gold next turn. We could even these out. Let's do that. Destruction. Uh, I don't know if I want the cutthroats to be one stack or two stack. Uh, never mind. We can always uh, save before the fight and then see how we how we go afterwards. Uh, we can go down to the sunken statue now. I think we have enough for for this. Yep. So let's take that. That's ten offense, which is quite nice. Okay. Let's see. We'll save it here, and then we'll figure out if we want to go in with this, which is the first attempt I'll make against these dragons. Or we can combine the musketeers and then split the cutthroats. So, see how that goes. But I think this is better. What I might do is go 10 and 7. Actually. So let's save it here. Okay, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're taking off this shield to get us a bit more range offense. Uh, it's four more range offense, but we need every little bit of damage we can get here. I think I'll keep the ancient blade. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and let's take this fight now. So we're doing the same thing. Let's move away from the Elder Dragon with all of our troops. Uh, okay, now this setup should be fine. Okay, let's move up here. Not too close to attract the attention of the Elder Dragon. The Hell Breaths are fine. Do we really need to do this? I don't think so. Let's save our attack. Okay. Uh, Alright. Let's go over here. Yeah, they're going to attack our... going to attack our cutthroats, that's fine. Ooh. Okay, we might be able to get the kill on the Elder Dragon here. 200. Let's do that. This should surely get the kill. Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, ooh, we could take out one Estra. Let's do that. Okay, now we don't want to push forward and attack because they'll retaliate. That's fine. Okay, now we need to use. Yeah, we need to use Quicken on our Cutthroats before we attack with our uh, Hell Breath. That takes out the Eth Dra. Perfect. And 
this should get our cutthroats in range. Yeah, so we take up both. Nice. Okay, we've got through that one. What do we get? Order magic. Ooh, yeah, order magic is nice. That's the one we need. So let's get order magic. Pile of gold. Okay, let's take all this stuff. Uh, this portal is fine. We can come back through it later on. So there's no problem walking through here. Let's pick all this stuff up. There. Okay, we could attack the silver mains. That should be fine to do. Save it here. Okay, let's see. We can start like this. Yeah, start like this and this should be fine. Alright, spear wall up. They've bunched up there, that's nice. Okay. Okay, how do we want to do this? This should be fine. Let's do that. Okay. Come down here. Two attacks. Perfect. Uh, let's hit these guys. We'll also hit these guys. And that's it. Perfect. Let's see. Okay, archery or command. I think we want command because we're about to get pipers down here. Alright, so now that we've done that. Uh, how do we want to play this? Save it here and we'll come down and take the wolves. This shouldn't be too bad. And we can just set up like this. Okay, that's fine. They're bunching up a little bit, which is perfect. Alright. Spear wall. Uh, let's hit them. Yeah, this should be perfectly fine, I think. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so what's the initiative? 43. Initiative 42, 36. 35, okay. So we need to do initiative on these guys. Take out the 11. Take out the 6. Five. Let's use justice to guarantee it then. Perfect. Alright. Take this helmet. Pile of gold. Okay, we're out of movement. That's fine. Alright. We probably want 12. 10? Take 10 for now. Okay. Come down here. Glimmer weave. Yeah, let's take glimmer weave. Gotten everything else. Don't think we can go through this portal. So let's come back up this way. Save it here. Because we're going to combine the, the muskets. Split 
our steam pipers. Save it here, and now we'll take on the Seneschal's Inspectors. Okay. And we'll set up like this. Spear wall. Could hit, but let's... Oh, we should have moved up the high ground. Oops. Okay. Let's aim. Okay, that's fine. That's good too. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's use rapid fire. Spear wall. Perfect. Okay. And. Ooh. Will we be able to take these guys, these guys out? I guess we'll have to trust that we can. Yeah, it seems like we can. We'll use justice. And that confirms the kill. Learning or command. Okay. see what if we just get three damage that'll be nice we can switch the spike shield back in okay let's check the raiders market nothing really here let's sell some of this stuff okay Save it here. Okay, so the next fight is with uh, the knights and the outlaws and wolves. Question is, do I want to split the cutthroats or do I want more st uh, more stacks of steam pipes? That is a very tough question to answer. Or do I want to split the musketeers? Uh, let's. Well, let's try splitting the musketeers first. If that doesn't work out, then we can uh, try and try and uh, get a different setup, maybe. So let's save it here and we'll take the fight. Okay, so Ooh, how do we want to do this then? Uh, five movement: one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's fine. There's five movement there, five movement here as well. Okay. They only have nine initiative on the knights, so that's fine. Don't need to do too much there. Uh, let's set up like this. And we'll go like that. Five, one, two, three, four so they can reach ooh they can reach us okay that's not ideal these wolves can also reach us it's also not ideal oh can our hell breaths survive though 43 initiative 36, 36, okay, 42. Okay, well. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess we'll set up like this. 
Okay. Nice. Perfect. All right. That worked out a lot better than I was expecting. The obstacles blocked them, which is good. So let's call back here. What? 42, 36, 43, okay. I guess we can hit the wolves then. Yeah, those guys are still quite a ways away. Pull back a little bit. And we'll song up. Definitely. Oh yeah, that's that's rough. We definitely can't get through there. So we'll have to take these guys out. And we'll have to take these guys out. This stack of muskets can just aim. That's all fine. Okay, that's all fine too. Okay. Ah, let's see. This takes out. No, it doesn't take out the knights. Okay. How much did the knights do? 13. Can't leave them there, unfortunately. So let's do rapid fire. Is that only for one round? Until end of round. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay. Will this actually get us the win? Maybe. Uh, yes, it is in our reign. Six, eight. Okay. Let's do that then. Perfect. Then, if they are reloading, I guess we'll aim. And we'll just use justice. There we go. That takes out the knight and we bit. Alright. Oh, chaos magic. Don't want chaos magic, really. I guess we can take destruction magic. that, hit everything up and collect everything. Now we will combine our muskets. Ooh, don't have enough to get, oh no, we do have enough, okay, there we go, that's fine. That is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Okay, so we've still got a little bit of cash left. They're not? No. The pool is empty. That's okay. Now we need to figure out how we deal with the borrowers, the riders of the swamp, and the storm guards. Did I not visit the can? Let's go visit the can. One offense, one defense, okay? Yes, that's fine. Save it here and let's try to do this battle. Okay. Uh, borrowers are down there. Okay. Uh, we can set up like this. question is, do we want to set up at the top, towards the top, or at the bottom? I guess we'll set up towards the top. Forty-two. Thirty-five, okay. We'll set up something like this, I guess. Yeah. And the 
borrowers are 37 initiative. Okay, let's try this. Uh, okay. I guess we set up over here. They're gonna borrow, that's fine. Save our... Save everything. Let's go up here. Uh, I guess we go up here. Head over here with our cutthroats, and then we aim here, I suppose. Alright, that's a bit of an odd configuration. Let's rapid fire. Spear wall. Just hit these guys then, they're gone. We'll hit these guys. Two. I guess we can stay like this. Chill. Uh, we can't reach with. Well, that big stacker of ravages can't reach us. So let's take out the stack that can. Oh, that's right. It's a double attack. All right. Completely stymied them. That's good. So the borrowers are back there now. We are stuck with our pipes inside, that's fine. We are reloading. Ooh, 150 damage. Oh, they have... Yeah, so they're not... We're not going to be able to attack them, that's fine. Yes, we can't do much, but other than attack these guys. So let's do that. They're going to burrow, which is fine, I think. So we're going to borrow there. Well, we're going to use aim there. Can't move with our pikes just yet. So let's spear wall. Hell roars. Won't do anything. That's fine. So we'll step forward here and use song. Step forward here and use song. We'll charge forwards with our cutthroats. And we'll go here with... Yeah, with our muskets. Yep, they all got blocked up. It's perfect. Let's go down here. Uh, okay. It does reach, so that's good. We can use rapid fire as well. Uh, okay, we... They are outside our range. That's fine. We use song. Seven, six. Okay, let's go down here. Take out the six. And we can take out the seven. Alright. 
call this victory. Now we ooh, get archery. I suppose we have to take archery. The one range is going to be nice to have. Okay. We do want to take the dragons and the Ethra and the storm guard, so we can do that. First, let's get some cash, I suppose. Gauntlets of the night. Ooh. Four defense, four offense. Or is 1200 gold better? I guess we can take the gloves. And then we can sell off the old gloves. So that should be fine. Let's go up here. Three. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's save it here. Okay. Let's put them up there. The hell one hell breath stack at the very back. Six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't have anyone here unless they can fall back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, one, two. So we need uh, units that can uh, that have higher initiative than them. I guess we can also set up like this. Uh, let's swap this around, I guess. 35? Uh, yeah, 35. 31, okay. 35, 31, 31, okay. 36. Do they have an initiative bonus or something? No, there shouldn't be. Yeah, no, this should be fine. Let's set up this way. So then our cutthroats can drop down here and our musketeers can go back there. Alright. Uh, okay, and we will... Let's go over here and use spear wall. Uh, let's fall back a bit more. That's fine. Let's go down here. We use the songs. Our muskets can fall back from here. Now they're going to move forward. We should, should be out of range now. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's fine. That's also fine. Let's use rapid fire now. We will spear wall. Ooh, this will be nice. Okay, they're gone, which is perfect. Okay, they're also gone. I guess we have to chill. Can we reach? We can reach. That's perfect. And it's done. Okay. Okay. Do we need Glimmer Weave? No, I don't think so. Let's take the gold. Some treasure there. No available path. Okay. Take the egg. Learning or command? Take command now. Don't need the Dreeth Den. Uh, we have artifacts we can sell. 
two HP, five initiative. So that's pretty good. Five initiative, five initiative. So that's 15 initiative, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's come back here. Sell, 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 and sell. Is there any... Oh, there's more Celestial Ore down there. Let's go over here. Take two. Okay. Take two more. Sell. Twelve defense, minus one view radius. I want the initiative, so that can go. And that allows us to buy out here. There's also this swamp spear that we haven't picked up. Okay. Alright, now let's save it here, and we'll hit these guys. It's a simple fight. Okay, let's see. Suppose we can set up like that, or like this. And let's try this setup. Okay, so there's barriers here that'll impede their, their charge towards us. Let's fall back a little bit. Okay, we will song up. They can't reach us. Maybe we should have attacked some of them actually. Okay, they all took fine. We will rapid fire. Okay, we will, yeah, spear wall up. Uh, okay, let's take out these guys. That's fine. Take out these guys. That's easily done. This is also easily done. And that works too. Perfect. Okay. That was simple enough. Alright, now we get more cash. Uh, let's save it here and we'll attack this side now. Diadreeths, Pioneers, okay. Uh, this is awkward positioning. Diadreeths are a bit scary, I have to admit. Uh, let's set up like this, I guess. Okay. Spear wall up. Pull back. Uh, the diadries won't reach us, so that's nice. Song up. We'll fall back. It's fine. We'll fall back and song up here too. And we'll use aim. And this should be pretty simple at this point. We use rapid fire, of course. That's fine. We'll take out the three. Okay. Now we'll take out the fights. And that's it. Okay. Order magic. 
let's take that. Okay, drums. Take all this stuff. Now we'll save it here. We need the pipes instead of the vial. Mechanical bird. Might want that instead of the skull of Aeons. Okay. Uh, let's save it here and we'll hit these guys down here. Okay. This should be fine if we set up like this. Yeah, we'll have the pipers at the back. We can run uh, retreat with our mark our muskets, so that's perfectly fine. Alright, spear wall. Uh, let's get up on high ground. Let's fall back more. You saw. Okay. Let's fall back to the high ground. Fall back and aim. And this should be pretty easily done. Rapid fire. Okay. And bombard volleys should do the trick. Okay. That mask. Let's get all this stuff. Take the cash there. Let's save it here and we'll hit these scarred roots next turn. Okay. And we'll do the same thing. And yeah, this should be fine. Okay, fall back. Spear wall. Let's move up on the high ground or the high ground there. Back there, and we saw up. Oh, let's go over here. That's fine. Go up here, and this should be an easy win as well. Okay, uh, let's use rapid fire. And this should be done. Level 16. Ooh, okay. Brutal. Brutal or Farsight. I was hoping I would get attuned or something like that. That would have been pretty nice. I get plus one deadly range, though. That could be handy. I'll take that. See how that goes. Okay, let's go back up here. Now we have three full stats of Hell Breaths. I don't really want any more of them. What I do want, though, is to get more Pioneers, I think. Let's do that. We can get... Ooh, we can get quite a lot of Pioneers, actually. 2100 for marksman. Is this what I want to do? Or do I want to get as many pioneers as possible? Let's do this. 22 pikes. I think that's fine. Okay. Let's head on back this way. Okay. So this is it. We're about to take on Amanda. This is a really tough fight. I don't know how I'm going to do, though. Uh, the, the time I was successful, it was a pretty brutal fight. And we just I just scraped through, so 
I'm predicting something similar with uh, this setup as well. Now, question is, what do I want? Do I want the skull of Aeons or do I want the mechanical bird? Plus three damage is quite a lot. But they do, the enemy oh, does have a lot of bonus initiative and some really fast units too. Well, it is a tough fight, so what we can do is... Ooh, actually, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to sell some of this gear. Yeah, 6 defense, 5 initiative, 4 offense. Ooh, that could be good. We don't quite get uh, order magic to tier 3, though. That, that will hurt. Yeah, okay, I stuffed up a little bit. Let's go back here. We need to sell some of this stuff. Uh, troop movement. I don't think we need troop movement. So let's get rid of that. Keep the rest of this stuff. And let's go back through the portal. Uh, that was a stuff up on my part. Okay, we get a max stack of muskets, and we get max stack of pioneers, so that's pretty good. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, the 32, 31 pikes could be really nice, actually. Ooh, okay. I accidentally clicked all the way down here, but that's fine. Let's save it here. Okay, yeah. I think I want to have the mechanical bird. That should be much better. And that should give us the initiative, actually. So let's set up like that. Save it here and get into the fight now. Okay. This should give us 57. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, how do we want to do this? Do we want to just set up like this? I guess we can set up like this. Veteran muskets? Maybe something like this. Let's try that. Yeah, we finally get the initiative. Because these guys have 56 and we now have 57. Which is pretty decent. And they have to go through there if they want. So let's spear wall. Oh, nice. Okay, that's pretty decent. Let's fall back. Ah, uh, fall back. We can't do anything here. We can use song though. Uh, justice will kill off two two hell breaths. Would that be good for us though? Eight, eight, nine. Order. Okay. Yeah, that might not be so good for us. We'll we'll save our essence for rapid fire. Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's do let's do some damage to the shadows. Okay, good. We can. Yeah, we can step back and use aim. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. Ooh, that is nasty though. Yeah, that is 
real now. Okay, now attack there. That's fine. Okay, good. Now we'll use rapid fire. This should be really nice damage. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, this looks like a much better setup. And it looks like we might be... Might be in a really strong position, actually. Okay, so let's... These guys can't reach us next turn, so let's take out the muskets. Oh, no. Dang it. Okay, that was a bit of a waste of the double shots. That's fine, though. Uh, the last two turns, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So let's save it. Okay. We can probably use justice now. 108. That takes out those guys. We'll take out two of them. Uh, they do reach us now. That's not ideal. So let's split them up a bit. Guess we can split up like this. Ah, uh, let's see. They can reach quite far. We could slow them down. That stops them getting to our hell roars, which is what we want. Let's split a little bit more. And this should do quite a bit of damage, so that's good. That's fine. Okay, that's okay. Two, three. Uh, let's see, aggression. One, two on the five stack and one aggression on the six stack. Oh, I didn't quite get it, but that's fine. So yeah, we basically want it now. And justice. And we have victory. Quite a few levels which we won't get to see. Oh, we didn't get any levels, okay. We haven't claimed up the beacon power, which is what we need to do. But that was a nice win. Uh, we actually won quite easily there, so that played out quite well. But we can finish the mission now. Victory! That run went a lot better than my test run actually, and I think my top tips for completing a hot deal would be if you take the northern portal, you definitely want to get a one stack of veteran pikeneers, because that helped us get the initiative at the start of the boss fight, which was really important. The Shadows actually ended up losing a nice chunk of their stack, which allowed us to finish them off afterwards with our cutthroats, which was really, really good for us, because that was a big chunk of the damage. I think another thing that was quite helpful was getting a third stack of Hellbreaths, uh, Hellbreast did well as a tank, even though that stack that got killed off early didn't do much damage. They did soak up some nice uh, hits from the enemy, I guess the enemy DPS units, so that was really handy. I also think taking learning at level 3 was really handy for that run. On my test run, I I don't think I got even close to level 16, so getting level 16 and having Farsight 2 with the extra deadly range was really helpful. Even though in the middle of the run I wasn't that 
thrilled about having to pick Farsight actually in the boss fight because we managed to get level 16. The extra deadly range, I think, actually ended up allowing the two surviving gold breath stacks to do a ton of damage as well. So that was really handy. I would say those would be my top tips for completing a hot deal. Of course, with challenge maps, you always have to be efficient with your battles and be thinking about army composition to maximize essence generation. But that's just how I think the challenge maps are set up, that you have to play that way, so you learn the game mechanic, which is really cool. But adding in all those other tips I just mentioned, I think that should help anyone to successfully complete a hot deal. If you enjoyed watching me play through the A Hot Deal challenge map, feel free to subscribe and like the video. I'll be going through the other challenge maps uh, in no particular order, probably in whatever order I kind of feel like, depending on what hero and race uh, is the focus of that particular challenge map. But uh, yeah, I will be slowly making my way through all of them if I can. Feel free to also leave a comment if you took the alternative path towards the east, I think it was. And let me know how that goes, or if you played the same path as me but did things a little bit differently. Uh, let me know how you went, and I wouldn't mind comparing notes to see if we can learn how to play that uh, map better and play the barrier faction a bit better too. In any case, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one, and I hope you have a great day.